Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Welcome back everyone, me Phil here, and today I am going to play a little bit of Job Simulator. It's pretty cool, you're pretty much working for robots, and it, it's like you're actually there to like come in a store. Look at that, Job Museum. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just pick these little simulator uh, cartridges here so you can start. But uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the options down here. You got little people mode. Makes everything smaller, right? And then you got spectator mode, which I don't know how to use. And you have a night shift button. Hello, human. You've worked the nine to five. But are you ready for infinite overtime? No. Let's Hello, go back human. Today. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. And let's go ahead and let's do store clerk. It's my favorite. I tried to record this before, but it kept messing up on me. So let's go ahead and try again. Are you a fan of slushies and hot dogs? You'll love the convenience store. All right. So let's go ahead and pull the lever. I've made it all the way up to six. Oh, it might be seven. But anyway, let's go ahead. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of Convenience Store Clerk. Take a look at this board for instructions and grab a ticket when you're ready to get started. And there's really some depth, man. You can, like, move up to the counter and... Because of the way you have your room set up, I mean, you can walk, I mean, just don't fall into stuff. You can walk all over the place. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull a ticket. Someone is texting me while I'm in VR. Anyway, let's pull this ticket. Let's open up this shop. You can start by cleaning off your counter. Cool! You also want to turn on the security camera, so you can keep an eye on the store. Alrighty, let's get to business. Here's your first customer. Good afternoon, hey. human. I would like to purchase these chips. Alrighty. Could I also get one of those meat cylinders, please? Sure. Hot dogs are in the freezer. Make sure you heat them up at least a little bit. Mmm, that looks... Acceptable. Hurry up and scan that so I can get eating already. You can thank a bunch. To finalize a sale, pull the lever on the register. Sorry. All right, here's your paper currency. All righty. Don't forget to hand over the change. Okay. Many thanks. Have a profitable day. You too. All right, here we go. Next one. It was important for stores like this to maintain a constant stream of customers so that cashiers wouldn't have time to contemplate their rapidly approaching obsolescence. Well, hello. Hi. You want a nano blammo bar? Okay. And a nuts and bolts bar. Metal and chocolate bar. Would you kind of? Ah, yes. Much better. I'll take one of those frozen slushy delights. Okay, slushy. Oh, the hot dog. And I believe he wants the blue or the, you know, I guess it's blue uh, color because it's on his screen. So let's go ahead and give him that. Would you kindly jumbo size that? Sure. Coming right up. Oh, I love the taste of sugar. <laughs> sugar. Oh, you're very good at scanning. Now, would you pass that to me? There you go. 
And here's some banknotes for you. Keep the change, good human. He sounds like a guy I work with. Cha cha. Bye. Oh, forget. Take a paper copy of yesterday's news. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I'll take my daily lottery ticket as well. Sure. Okay. How about lumber jackpot? Oh dear, I'm feeling a little faint today, dearie. Do you think you could scratch that lottery ticket for me? Sure. You can use my quarter. Ah. Oh my! <laughs> Granny's gonna buy a new stick of ram. <laughs> Alright. Good job. Is that... How much did you... Um, I saw a little glitch over here. I don't know if it was because I was too close or something happened. But the table moved. It's the first time I've ever seen that happen. But anyway, let's continue. Let me just write you a check for those. There we are. Sure. Bank of Bot, 611. Okay, Slushy Mart, Granny Bot. Oh, what a kind young human you are. Bye. Have a lovely day. Two. So I'm like, yeah, bro, it's a buyer's market. They're looking at me like I'm crazy, you know? And uh, what, what are you talking? No, no, I'm talking to you. No, you. Yeah, you. You got that hot dog already? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I might have one already made. Oh, I hear you, bro. Yeah. Hot dog? No. I was talking, not you. I want some gum. No. Not you. The human. I want to buy some gum already. Jeez. What is this? Wow. Took you long enough? N no, not you. The other... Uh, forget it. Some people just don't know how to listen. Am I right? Yeah. No. You. I'm talking to you, bro. <laughs> bro, 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 talking to you. No matter how irritating the customer, humans were required to smile and be polite. I have to keep looking up to make sure it's still recording. Because I can't see. Oh, my little angel, put that nice, healthy banana up there for the human. Hi. Now you stay here for a minute, dearie. Mommy needs to use the little boss room. Sugar! 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 Give me sugar! <laughs> Damn! Sugar! Big rum. <laughs> Blazing fast. Here you go, kid. Yummy! More! More! Nano yums. Helps fight viruses by strengthening nano core. Here you go. Yummy! More! More! Alright. <laughs> I think it's a little girl. Alright, human. Look at my Sorry boss. about the wait. Have you rung up our order? Yes, right now. Dearie, why don't you hand the human the money? Whoa! Money? Okay, here. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you do to my darling? Come back here! You did the right thing there, human. Just do whatever the customer or their children wants. And make sure you always grab that money. Alrighty. Yo, this place is looking sick! But you know what it needs? More Maximum Energy Branding. Why don't you bring up that display and we can pump it up a bit? Alrighty. 
ready? Yeah, that's the one! Let's max this thing out! I gotta run to the bathroom, so I'm counting on you to really push the envelope on this thing. Hold on. Psst. Hey, Jimmy! Over here! Uh, I need something for, uh, cleaning. Uh, I gotta clean up here. Pass me something! Anything! Now, I can't, I don't know what to do here. I can't throw newspapers because they don't, they don't, they don't wipe. Shucks. Um, what, what do, what would a robot use to, to clean up? There's noodles, keys, jumbo, hot dog, slushies. Oh my god, what, what would they use? I couldn't get past this part. Cool, i never seen this. They don't drink Pepto. Nausea, burning heart, butt leakage. Warning, this is medicine, not a tasty beverage. I mean, I... Oh, I, uh, it! I guess I can make this work. Yeah, I'll be out in a second. Cool, it worked. But, uh, All right, much better. Well, let's see this display, human. All right, looking good. And now we're on brand, baby. Boom! <laughs> Peace out, human. All right, so now we're going to jump. We're going to jump to the chef. I believe it's the chef, okay? So hold tight. This is how we exit out of the game. Last time I got stuck. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, really? Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Let me make sure lights on. Flashlight on. Flashlight off. All right. Okay. Everything is a okay. So let's go ahead and get the gourmet chef. I the kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? Yes. And I didn't do too good last time. I barely even made it up there. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Hold on, but... One second. Put some music on. This is totally disco. humans spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy taste ratio.
Ooh, that one's getting... Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. All right. All right, let's get uh, an apple and an orange. How about that? Looks good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. for some tea and crumpets? Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. Optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. Alright, let's pour it in the cup. Similar to tea, crumpets also require heat. I need one of these. To cook flat items, humans use devices called toaster. Ah, oh, I couldn't catch it. making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we can make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. Right. Great. Now fill it up with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Corn. Potatoes. Cooking. Just like Mumbot used to make. Alright, what's this one? Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich.
bacon, chicken, Ooh, and cheese. That one's getting pretty well done. Don't worry, we'll serve it anyway. Look I'm trying this. to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich. Gotta do your job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. So that was okay. Let's go ahead and uh, try a different one. Let's look out here and see everybody that's eating. There's my sandwich over there. The soup. Looking, looking sweetie. Looking sweetie. All right. So let's get on out of here. Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. I think I want to do auto mechanic. Okay. Go. A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Will do. Again, if I sound kind of funny, it's because I'm using the microphone. This. All right. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of auto mechanic. Take a look at this board for instructions. Man, this is cool. It's like you can just walk out. Oh, let me back. Oh, let me back up. <laughs> Good morning, human. I require a tune-up. Please take a look under the hood. Okay. This spot just needs a little fluid. No problem. A little fluid. Fluid. What kind of fluid? Um, looks like, is that oil? This vehicle's power source appears to be unacceptably inefficient. So we need to pull the potato alternator out. And uh, put a new one in. Oh, this is the potato batter. Well done. That's looking very car. Press the button to drop it back down when you're finished. All right. Nice. In shops like these, everything had a price. Make sure you bill the customer for the use of your highly valuable time. $1,577. Oh, thank you, human. I'll get this taken care of right away. Very good, human. But we're just getting started. The world of auto mechanic has so much more to offer. Okay. Let me check to make sure it's still recording. Yeah, we're good to go. Car. Zero zero one one zero zero one. I'm the car. You sure? I'm I'm the news person, and today we're talking about. There's certainly nothing out of ordinary. Achilles' peace. Oh, yeah. Human, I've got this coupon for a sleaze bot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Get a move on. Sleazebot special. Human, over here. I'm Sleazebot. 
the owner of this fine establishment. Now this bat's got a coupon, so let's take real good care of him by sabotaging their car and making him come back later for more work. Okay, let's pop the hood. Okay, pistons in the engine? Don't need those. Uh, yeah, just uh, recombobulate the, the, the thing there. Uh, how about my headlight fluid? How's that looking? <laughs> yeah, I know about cars. Headlight fluid? You name it, we got it. Get this bot some headlight fluid, human. Coming up. Hey, human. While we're dealing with fluids here, why don't we spice up their gas tank with a little secret ingredient that'll ensure they're back later for more work. <laughs> like they always do. Sugar. Sugar in a tank. I barely found this last time. You know they do this. <laughs> you know they do it. Now give them this new coupon I came up with when you're done messing with their car. Rifty Blue coupon, two for one special. Twice the parts for twice the price. Here you go, dude. 1700 Oh, another coupon, is it? I do like discounts. You've really earned my patronage, good human. Nice job with that, bot. You did all right, human. Now you keep at it. I'll be in the back counting the money. All right. One of the hottest topics is the pipes and the tubes. There's just all kind, all sorts of tubes. It's, it's a wild world. It's a wild world we're living in with these cars. Yeah, you know, there's a car. There was this one car. Well, I just got this beauty at the local junkyard. Just needs a little love so I can drive illegally. Right. What do you say? We can fix her up. Human transport vehicles had to be evaluated for safety regularly. Broken components like these headlights would have to be replaced before evaluation. The uh, air filter's not doing too good either. Want to take a look at that? The air filter's not going to hurt you when you keep up, all right? <laughs> I blew it off. Oh, wait. Now, how about my rust drop? You could cover that up with a fresh coat of paint. Yeah, let's give you green. You got to check out the metal when you pop the lid. Traffic is at normal and the time is one zero zero one one and oh my goodness it's a little time for some commercials. <laughs> well that looks good as new. Makes that old hood ornament look uh, aesthetically displeasing. Think you can swap that out with something new and shiny? Sure. Last time last time I did this guys the guy came out of here with a ten thousand dollar bill. A human fell Whoa. in a giant hole and was trapped there for several but, uh, days before Let's go ahead and give him a gift. It took me a long time to figure out how to do this. It was a trying uh, experience for Reginald Johnson Jones, who was trapped in the hole. Um, Why is someone always following the uh, The statement he made is that he was very thankful for the swift, uh, speedy services of the robot people. He did not mind. Being trapped in the hole for, for close to four days, it was perfectly fine. Well, reboot my hard drive. It's like a whole new car. Drop it down and give me that bill so I can show it off to my buddies. The building where they fix the humans is, seems to be going well. Traffic and weather. Uh, just, traffic is still fine as always. And weather is just about good. $21.36. No. Two thousand one hundred and thirty-six dollars. What am I talking about? Here you go. Thank uh, you kindly, human. Delicious gear that you can install in the back of your computer part. Woo! Driving people in droves to the computer gear 
store in the giant computer shopping place. All the right, let's just do one more. Let's see if we can do that. The newest gear to come from the company that makes the gears is... Hello, human. I am required by law to do emissions test on my vehicle? Get it done so I can get out of this dump. Okay. Thank you. Let's turn to the back. Uh, this looks like a lot of work. Let's see if we can figure out a shortcut. Check my stash. See if there's anything in there that could help us. Oh, oh, banana. That'll do it. Nothing coming out of the tailpipe. No problem, right? Well, this car is looking a lot more appealing. <laughs> My work here is done. Uh-oh. Back when cars were driven by humans, drivers would use air fresheners to improve the breathing quality of the air within the vehicle. What kind? A banana? But I got it on. I got. I, I done it on the wrong side. Or did I? What is? What is that? It's wanting me to turn the air conditioner on. Another, another. No, um. It says safety first. Oh, okay. I must have messed it up when I done it from the other side. Okay, drop the car. He's done. Man, you you gonna die in there, dude? Twenty five hundred dollars for a banana? A <laughs> damn ornament? Man, twenty six hundred five dollars, dude. So, does this mean I passed? Well, I did my part. Catch you later, human. Man. All right, guys, this has been me and Pooh playing Job Simulator on the. Acer Nitro 5 with the Samsung Odyssey Plus. So let's get on out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.